2015 is another important year for us all at the County Council. In February, councillors will be debating budget proposals for the next 12 months. This will be the sixth year in a row where we've had to had an actual cut in our funding from the government. And the signs are that this is something that will continue in the years to come. Like me, I know you value the services we provide. And it's really important that we continue to work together so that these reductions in our funding don't mean we have to stop doing the things that are important. I believe that we are capable of adapting to these different circumstances and that the public sector can continue to meet the needs of people across our county. But it does mean that we have to adapt, think differently and be innovative. Things I'm confident we can all do. Last May, I announced my five priorities for the Council. These are the big issues that the Council needs to focus on as we go through the transformation programmes over these next few years. They are the following. To raise educational attainment and skills level. To support the local enterprise partnerships to increase economic growth. To maintain roads and develop Suffolk's infrastructure to support those most vulnerable in our communities and to empower our local communities. As our transformation programmes take shape, we will see the Council changing, becoming leaner, more clearly focused on the delivery of its priorities and, crucially, working very closely with our partners both in the public sector and outside, to deliver the services we all want to see. The more we can all keep our focus on those five priorities, and the more you all feel empowered and motivated to play your part in achieving them, the more we can find an effective path through these budget challenges and the more resilient our council will be as a result.